Hi everyone, it's Leona with Leona's Designs, back with Junk Journal July 2023, Create with Scrimping Mommy Prompts, and it's day 29, and the prompt I picked was stamps, and I don't have a whole lot of stamps, but I do have a few of these, uh, I don't know what you call them, flexible ones. And uh, I've been trying them out on these store receipts. And I did a video previously on painting on store receipts and using the heat gun. And I'll link that below. But today I'm trying it out with Distressed Oxide and these stamps. And this is what I've come up with so far. Um, because when you, most of the store receipts, not all of them, but when you um, heat them up with a heat gun, it melts all the text and it just turns it pure black. So any color that you've put on the store receipt, either with paint or the distress, distressed oxide ink, as I just found out, um, it doesn't melt that, it leaves that. So I did these birds and these words, and it turned out pretty good. This one didn't turn out very good because my ink kind of smeared on that. I just did one, and now these were done on a Goodwill receipt, and I did this one on a Walmart receipt, and it's just did not show up at all and it took a long time for the text to melt so not all these store receipts are the same uh, the good one one just melted it right away um, I haven't tried my Safeway receipt yet so I thought I would let you see maybe what how it works I'm um, gonna do some stamping on the Safeway receipt and this Goodwill receipt and we'll see how that works out. So I'm just going to use these different colors and a few different stamps and um, see what we get. Got these bird stamps that I'm just going to use again. Got this little hummingbird try him on the Safeway stamp and you just want to hope you can see me okay let me get closer Let's see if I can get closer here uh, just, okay there it's closer you want to get uh, a lot of ink on your stamp And then just put it right down anywhere on the receipt on top of that text. And whatever is inked is not going to fade away, but whatever is black uh, text down there is going to turn pure black. So we got a green bird now, kind of. His head didn't come up too good. And then we've got this little wording that says, enjoy the little things. I'm going to ink that up and put that under him. And then we're going to try it with another bird. This bird here. I'll wipe this off first. And I think I'll make this bird blue. And we'll just 
just put him right down under that writing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, he turned out really good. <coughs> Now he's going to have a little black inside of him where the ink didn't go. That's going to turn black, so that'll be interesting. <coughs> and let's see, what do we want now? Let's uh, I had a little phrase here that said, Enjoy life. So we'll put that right under him. That turned out good. And we could put a few swirls on edges, I guess. Maybe some <coughs> yellow swirls on the edges. I don't know. This yellow doesn't work too well. I gotta fix that. Let's try some of this purple. swirls along the edges. Okay, so now we're going to see how this turns out with the ink gun, or the heat gun. <coughs> That's the Safeway receipt, so I think I'm going to do <clears throat> some big swirls on this Goodwill receipt. It's my big, there we go. I know the Goodwill receipt. melts really quick and really black except it didn't blacken up the Goodwill name all the way. So let's see. I'll go put that down right there. Oh, that looks nice. And I'm going to put another one. Right here. Let's see. That. <clears throat> and then, let's see if we can figure out something to put in the middle. Maybe some little red flowers. Yeah, some little red flowers here. <clears throat> Put 
two big ones in. The little one up here. Oops. Okay, we're going to see what this looks like now. When I turn the heat gun on, I will put this on pause and I will take the camera out where the heat gun is and I'll be right back to show you. Okay, I'm doing this on top of my stove um, because I usually put the exhaust fan on. <clears throat> I've got the screen door open uh, for ventilation uh, because these receipts, when you put the heat gun on them, they do really come off with a pretty strong odor so you don't want to be breathing that in. So I always wear a mask and I always have good ventilation. I'm not gonna turn on the exhaust fan right now because I'm filming and you wouldn't be able to hear very good and the noise would be very loud. So, um, but I do have the door open, so I have good ventilation and I have my mask on. So here we go. Okay, so this is the Goodwill receipt. And it come out pretty good. And when you use the acrylic paint, it does come out more vibrant uh, than this, this uh, distressed ink. But you can still see it. Um, I think my heat gun is kind of wearing out because it didn't really get as hot and it didn't melt all the text really black like it usually does. You can still see visions of it. <clears throat> Either that or they're changing the receipts a little bit because before it got really dark. <clears throat> Let's try the Safeway one now. See how that works.
the Safeway one melted really quickly. And it did show up very well uh, with the blue and the green, but the purple doesn't show up too good. But <clears throat> I wanted to try it with this Distressed Oxide ink just to see. I've tried it, like I said before, with acrylic paint and it really works out well. Uh, I'm going to put it on pause and I'll get a couple of the ones I tried with acrylic ink and let you see those. Acrylic ink, I said. I meant acrylic paint. These are the ones I've done with acrylic paint. I just stenciled these on with acrylic paint and it, it does show up much better than the Distressed Oxide. And it comes out really pretty. I've used them in my junk journals. This one is really pretty. It's like some really, uh, I think it was this coppery paint I used. This one I thought was pretty. I left some of it white where I could. A little bit of the text showed up. <clears throat> But, yeah, I hope I inspired you to give this a try and see how your receipts turn out. It's just a good way to use up receipts and uh, could use it with the Distressed Oxide ink, but I think the acrylic paint and the stencils work much better. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll link to my other one with where I used the acrylic paint. Have a great night, and I hope to see you tomorrow.